All right, now in this example, we are told that given an intramural league, we need to divide 30 men and 45 women into all male and all female teams so that each team has the same number of people. And then they ask us, what is the largest number of people that can be placed on a team? Now, when you first read these types of questions, it can be a little bit confusing because clearly there's more women in this case than there are men, so how can we have the same number on multiple teams? Well, that's because it didn't say we have to have the same number of teams, just that on each team we need the same number of people. So when you see that, you read that, or you hear that type of question in mathematics, the most amount of something in this group and this group that can be allotted, that's just finding the GCD, the greatest common divisor. Or in other words, the biggest number that divides into both of the numbers you have. So how can we find that? For some numbers that are small, it may be easy to look at it and come up with it once you have a grasp on what it is. But for bigger numbers, sometimes even bigger than these, it can be really difficult. So here's what you can do. We're going to factor these numbers and break them down all the way. And you can start with any number that comes to mind that divides into this. For me, the most obvious would be 3. And if I do that, 30 divided by 3 is going to leave me with 10. Now I have to keep going to break it down all the way. So 3, well that's a prime number, so that's not breaking down anymore. 10 though, I could write as 2 multiplied by 5. And now, everything that ends in a prime number, I'll circle. So I've got 3, I have 2, and I have 5. So that means that I can write 30 as 2 times 3 times 5. And technically speaking, these would all be to the first power, because there's only one of each one. Now, let me make my 5 more 5 -y. And now the 45, we're going to do the same thing. So again, anything that comes to mind that divides into this number. Well, for me, I'm thinking of 9, and I know that 9 goes into this 5 times. Well, 5 can't be reduced anymore because he's prime, so I'll circle him. 9, however, I can write as 3 times 3, and those are both prime. And now notice there's no 2 in this one, which is kind of interesting, so I'm going to write 45 equals, and since there's no 2, I'll just sort of ignore that and move over, 3 now I could write the threes out, but what there are is two of these, right? So I could write that as three squared times, well there's a single five, so five to the one. So what you're gonna do to find the GCD is you're just going to take the smallest power out of each of these numbers, which is why I left this blank space here for two. Technically this is two to the zero. Remember that anything to the zero power is one, and so you could say this is the smallest between these is two to the zero, which is just 1. So I'll pop that down. 2 to the 0 is 1. Between 3 to the 1 and 3 squared, the smaller one is 3 to the 1, so that's just a 3. And then between 5 to the 1 and 5 to the 1, they're the same thing, so that's just 5. Now if I multiply those all together, I wind up with 15. And so 15 would be my greatest common divisor. And given what they were asking for, the maximum number of people you can place on a team, that means there can be 15 people on um, an individual male team and 15 people on an individual female team. Now, just to make this make a little bit more sense as far as what's going on in this problem, if I divided 30 by 15, that would give me 2. If I divided 45 by 15, that would give me 3. So this is interesting because notice we didn't take the 2 from 30. So the 2 is what was left over. And we didn't take this extra 3, the second one, from 45, and so that's what's left over here. And those numbers represent the number of teams. So there can be two male teams, which each have 15 people on them, and three female teams, which each have 15 people on them. But all the question was asking for was what the greatest number of people on a team is, and that is right here, the 15. That's the greatest common divisor, and that is this example.